The statements in this diary are so extreme, you can hardly blame anybody for thinking it might be fake. But now we know that it's not. Wait, what? Welcome to the Stu Peters Show. My name is Stu Peters. A whole year ago, Patrick Howley broke what should have been that year's biggest story with National Fire. He obtained a 2019 diary, a diary written by Joe Biden's daughter, Ashley, while she was doing a drug rehab stint in Florida. That diary, more than 100 pages long, revealed a staggering amount of disgusting details about Ashley's personal life. In it, she described taking incest sexual showers with her father, Joe Biden, as a child. Showers that she said, quote, probably weren't appropriate. She described other childhood sexual trauma as well, ultimately which she blamed for an overwhelming adult sex drive. Quote, was I molested? She asked. Quote, I think so. There's a lot more there, too. She has a whole list of people that she resents for various reasons. Joe Biden, dad is there, resented for his money and his control. Hunter and Haley Biden are there, both for the drugs they apparently use. And Ashley describes her failing marriage, how it fell apart. She mentions multiple affairs on her part and imagines her husband having affairs of his own. She expresses a lot of angst about Hunter Biden moving into a multi-million dollar house in Southern California. And once people find out about all of this, she thinks it could sink her father's presidential campaign. But of course, that didn't happen. For the entire 2020 election, the press ran relentless interference for Joe Biden. Overtly, blatantly. They refused to cover their corrupt business arrangements. Or they just out and out lied and said that obvious corruption was actually legitimate. When Hunter Biden's laptop was released, the press, Twitter, Facebook, and the deep state, they all colluded to claim that it was Russian disinformation. And they actively suppressed the story. They hid it. So when Ashley Biden's diary was released, they ignored, suppressed, and hid that too. And honestly, the statements in this diary are so extreme, you can hardly blame anybody for thinking it might be fake. But now we know that it's not. Last week, the FBI raided Project Veritas's James O'Keefe's home and the homes of his associates, apparently in connection with an investigation of Ashley's diary and how it went public. So now we know the diary is real. Ashley Biden did take inappropriate showers with her father as a child. So since the FBI wants to run cover, and since the media wants to ignore this, we will not. Patrick Holly joins us now. So what exactly is in this diary? You know, this is a really staggering diary, and it's a um, an achievement of journalism. Um, you know, I confirm that this diary was real. The diary is not stolen. Ashley left the diary behind. The diary was not stolen. So the mainstream media narratives and the FBI are just... Um, they are trying to present an image of how this story came to be that simply is not true. What they should be talking about is Joe Biden's creepy behavior around his daughter. When you look at Ashley Biden writing that she was, quote, hypersexualized at a young age. Was I molested? I think so. I do remember trauma. I remember somewhat being sexualized with Caroline. I remember having sex with friends at a young age. Showers with my dad, probably not appropriate. She says she remembers, quote, being turned on when I wasn't supposed to be. I remember the Q-tips. I hated getting my ears clean, beating my vagina due to overhearing parents having sex. She also says that due to her relationship with her father, she became convinced that she could only get love from men and not from women because her mother was described as emotionally not available. She does, of course, resent Joe Biden. And how could you not? So when you look at what Joe Biden's own daughter has to say about this man, this demented, old, traitorous, corrupt fool. OK, and you look at the video of Joe Biden molesting the niece of Senator Steve Daines. Her name is Maria. She confirmed that Joe Biden pinched her body. When you look at the way that Joe Biden molests children, it is on video. It is on tape. And you I even remember when Jeff Sessions, you know, shielded his granddaughters away from Joe Biden when he's in that creepy room as vice president where he swears in the senators. Right. 
apparently that's just a buffet for him to molest children. This is absolutely horrifying. This man has no business representing the United States of America on the world stage. His presidency on a policy level is a disaster. China is basically conquering this country. You've got inflation. The, the American people are hurting. There are supply chain shortages that they can't figure out. That alone proves that Joe Biden is not fit to be the president of the United States. But the fact that he is this sick man and he evidently thinks that he is above the law and he can get away with this kind of behavior is absolutely disturbing. We've never seen anything like this before in the office of the presidency on this level and now publicly exposed. Will lawmakers, anybody in Congress, anybody in the United States Senate propose impeachment? I mean, will anybody bring this up? I know that we've had some you know, flagrant speech and riling up the base and articles for this and that. But this is this is confirmed pedophilia and incest. Yes. You know, the problem is that if Joe Biden gets impeached, then Kamala Harris becomes the president. And so that doesn't really accomplish anything in terms of changing the horrible policy um, decisions that are being made, because it's going to be the same cabal of corrupt deep state people running the country. But Obviously, you know, I've been saying from the start that the 2020 election should be decertified based on the massive, massive evidence of election fraud in 2020. Um, but Republicans don't seem to have the spine in order to be able to get that done. So the FBI is investigating how this thing might have been stolen. They're raiding James O'Keefe's home and the homes of his associates. Rather than investigating Joe Biden for criminal activity, felony criminal activity, sex with minors, specifically his daughter in the shower, allegedly. I mean, what does that say about the country that we live in? What does that say about our Department of Justice? You know, our country has become... Um, I mean, the people are still great. The country itself is still great. I love the idea of America, but the country has become so crooked and so corrupt in terms of the government and the media. And I mean, if you look at the so-called fact checkers, because they called me a conspiracy theorist for so long, right? Did you know, I'm, I'm breaking a story right now, factcheck.org is a project of the Annenberg Public Policy Center at the University of Pennsylvania. I have an SEC licensing agreement in 20, from 2018, before coronavirus, showing that bio Tech, which is Pfizer's partner on the coronavirus vaccine, has been paying presumably a massive amount of money to the University of Pennsylvania for vaccine technology. The BioNTech stated, quote, if proprietary pen technology is part of a new mRNA based vaccine, the university will be eligible to receive additional milestone payments and royalties from BioNTech. They are in bed with the people making the vaccine while they are pretending to be fact checkers on so-called vaccine misinformation. They are corrupt. Almost everything in our society now that claims to be one thing is actually the, the opposite. Factcheck.org is corrupt. I am not corrupt. I am the real fact checker. You are the real fact checkers. We are the fact checkers for America. Yet again, I have been proven right and vindicated. Unbelievable. Patrick Hawley, National File. You can find him on social media everywhere. He's at telegram t.me slash Patrick Reports. He's on Gab at Patrick Reports. That's the Alamo of free speech. Join him there. Follow him. I mean, you are really doing exactly what a journalist is supposed to do. And you've been doing it yes. for an extremely long time. We appreciate you being here and we're glad you're on our team. Patrick Holly, thank you for and being I, here. I will, ne I will never be intimidated. Very good. Here either. Likewise. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the CEO of MyPillow. 